Hi guys, we are on VRM24.com and today we are going to disassemble the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, we insert it into the hole and carefully push the tray out. By the way, the tray we have is located at the bottom. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover, we will use a thin plastic film. This film can be from a new display or a film from a stationery store. Carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and carefully run along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. So we detach the back cover, lift it up and we need to disconnect the connector, thus cable leads to the back cover. After that, we need to remove the screws on the top part. For this, we use a Phillips screwdriver 1.5 mm or Phillips hash 3 Please note, the screws may be different in size and color, so we recommend placing them on a special surface in a certain order to avoid confusion when you are assembling. The screws are also badly magnetic, we should also pay attention to this and maybe use additional tweezers or magnetize the screwdriver with a magnetizer. Sometimes the screws get stuck, obviously. And we try to detach the cover. Carefully in the right place we pry lift and remove the cover in the upper part. Then we disconnect the two battery connectors with a non-metallic tool. And we proceed to unscrew the screws at the bottom. The screws in the bottom part may also be different from each other, so it is also better to place them on a special surface and in a certain order, so that we don't confuse anything when we're assembling. After that, we can detach the cover in the bottom part. This cover with antenna lines. We carefully hook over the edge, lift it up, as we can see on the cover, we have a loudspeaker and a small antenna on board. There are also two coaxial cables attached to the cover. It will be easier if we don't detach the cables, but disconnect the connectors of the two coaxial cables on the motherboard and carefully remove the cover with the loudspeaker and the two coaxial cables. So, as we can see, we have the second coaxial cable on the opposite side. We disconnect the connector and remove the cover with the loudspeaker, small board and the cables. And we need to disconnect the connectors on the subboard. We disconnect the connectors of the interboard cables, disconnect the connector of the underscreen cable disconnect the connector of the coaxial cable and release the cable itself. Next, disconnect the connector of the cable that leads to the display. Then we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We disconnect the connectors and remove one of the interboard cables. After that, we lift and bend off one of the cables that leads to the charging port. So we find the right place where we can pry up and remove the subboard. As we can see on the subboard, we have the microphone on the edge and the card connector on the back side. We still have to detach the charging port. To do this, we carefully hook the edge, lift and remove the cable with the charging port. And in the display frame, we are left with a vibration motor. After that, we move on to disconnecting the camera connectors on the motherboard. 
We disconnect the connectors of the rear cameras. We disconnect the connector and remove the front camera. Then we can disconnect the coaxial cable connector and move on to detaching the motherboard. We find the right place where we can pry, gently lift and remove the motherboard. As always, it is important to find the right place where we can lift the motherboard. So we take out the motherboard, turn it over and we need to disconnect the camera connector on the inside. We find the place where the connector is located. We also need to remove the bracket on that connector. We remove the bracket, then we disconnect the connector. And we can carefully detach and remove the assembly of the three rear cameras. And this is the assembly of the three rear cameras. Put them away. And finally, we move on to detaching the battery. In our case, the battery has already been removed before us. One of the tap we have is damaged. It is worth reminding that we have two brown tabs with the letters A and B. We need to pull up the outer tab with the letter A and the tab in the middle with the letter B should be unfolded so that it doesn't interfere with us. Under the battery, by the way, we have transparent protective coating. In our traditional test, we take the tool, insert it into the microphone hole and we realize that we don't have a protective mesh in the microphone hole, but the hole has L-shape. Well, as we can see, the body of the microphone is located on the opposite side to the microphone hole. This means that if we insert any tool into the microphone hole, we won't be able to damage the microphone. So this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.